rent yeah. some big equipment in here. I mean, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll work with, with Ann and, and we'll, we'll talk about what, what makes Can you just uh, say and spell your name for me? Okay, it's Jim Mullane, mm -hmm. J-I-M, uh, M-U-L-L-A-N-E. Okay, and what's your title out here? My wife and I own the business. Okay. Yeah. So, um, your house? Our house is gone. Well, let's start over again. Our house is very, it's damaged a lot. Um, we did lose uh, Granddad's house that's next to us. We lost our foreman's house and uh, four fifth wheels that um, that we keep, uh, that our help stays in. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the structures out here. Yes. Yeah. And what about the uh, the trees? Um, as you can see back here, this is just one orchard that we have up above our homes, but uh, all these trees are dead uh, due to the fire, mm -hmm. and um, so it's. It's just going to be a big re rebuilding process for us, you know, to try to take these out. I mean, it's it's a job to have to remove all these and prepare the ground and replant and stuff like that. It takes it's going to take years. Yeah, and Dixon apples are sort of a New Mexico institution. Uh, yeah, we feel so. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so, hey, plus you had the the freeze. We did. We lost a majority of our crop uh, in the spring to that February freeze, that real hard one. So, and then we were start. Then we were going through this drought, which was really hard. I mean, we were chasing water all the time, and then now this fire. So it's just been one thing after another. So, uh, one of the toughest years you can remember. Or? Yep, it is. It is the driest. I I can never remember things as dry as it is this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't even have any any water down nope, there. No, nope. no. If it wasn't for wells, we wouldn't be going right now. So. So now that I guess the majority of the canyon up this way burned too, big concern? From what we understand with the Forest Service flying over is that it is, they call it nuked, and so there's nothing up there. And uh, so now our main concern is flooding. I mean, it's a, they say the flooding can be worse than the fire. So that's what we're, our goal is now, is in the next few days before these rains come, is to try to clean out the creek bed and try to make diversions and settling pools and things like that as fast as we can. I mean, you got freezing, you got drought, you got fires, and now flooding. Now flooding, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, let's talk to the land commissioner. I guess this is leased land. It is. And so what kind of discussions go back and forth between you and the state as far as improvements out here? Just the, the types of things you're talking about, not really, you know, you don't have to get anything specific. Um, As if, you know, your role versus their role in this, all this stuff. Well, I mean, they own the homes, so we're, I don't know if I want to get into this or not, yeah. you know. I guess you can edit this out, so. No, well, we're, we're only going to use a couple okay. of, okay. of all of these. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, I just want to be careful because we're yeah. really at their mercy right and stuff. I want to be careful what we do. Sure. So. Um, but this, uh, it is an important place to uh, New Mexico. I mean, there's signs on 25, you know. Mm -hmm. We do stories every year about mm -hmm. the Dixon and apples and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, the whole state really has uh, an interest in keeping this place going. Yeah, we, we, we feel, we, I tell you, we're blessed with a lot of friends and family and and people that we do business with. I mean, um, we've just been inundated with uh, people wanting to help us and it's just been incredible. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just really been incredible. Yeah. Have you guys, you know, through the years, not even today, but through the years, had talks about just buying the property outright? Is that even an option? Um, we, we would like to, but really we can't afford it. I mean, and plus, the way I understand the land office is their goal, they don't want to lose land. They always want to just try to increase land. So if we were to actually try to purchase it, we'd have to purchase land of equal value and do a trade and stuff. So there's, it's a little more complicated than... than yeah, because wow. yeah. yeah, I guess their purpose is to a continuing source of income, not just... Uh-huh, yeah, you know. exactly. Wow. So you'd have to buy some other property yeah. and then trade for this one. Yeah. Okay, uh, so any apples this year at all? 
Uh, we're hoping to, to have a small crop, yeah. We're, we're going to try to, to make harvest. It's going to be difficult with all the other stuff that's going on, but we're going to try to make harvest, yeah. And it will be small. It's going to be a small crop. So. Any idea of, uh, I mean, you sell out every year anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know. I'd say we have five, eight, ten percent of a normal crop. Yeah, so it is going to be small. But, Did you increase the prices at all? Uh, we did. Uh, we, we jumped our prices up to $18 a bag. And um, I mean, we hem and hawed over it, and it's a tough decision, but I mean, our expensive, everything's just getting more and more expensive, and we just, we have to. You know? I mean, Was that done before or after the, the fire? Actually, before. Yeah. Yeah. So, any, yeah. any further? I mean, um, no, I don't think so. I mean, yeah. we're, if we say we're going to do something, we want to we want to stick with it. So, yeah. Um, I guess one of your supporters down in Coach D was telling me about uh, a, a website where they're selling T-shirts. People can buy T-shirts, donations, type of thing. Like that. Yeah, I don't know much about it because I've been focused just here. But uh, yeah, uh, Dana, um, um, a friend of ours, is is trying to organize stuff like that. But I don't know much about that. Okay. Yeah. What can people do if they want to help? Um. I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I can't answer that. I mean, we have a lot of help, and I mean, really, when you have too much help, it's just more of a hindrance than it is a help. Yeah, so, sure. yeah. Okay. I wish I could be more specific. No, yeah. no, that's fine. That's fine. So, so, what are specifically some of the things you want to get done on the on the flooding side? You said the Berms, um, silt, uh, settling pools. Um, Cleaning out the creek as much as we can of any debris. Um, uh, we need to put silt fences around the uh, the arroyas coming in. Um, waddles, mm -hmm. I believe that's how you pronounce them. Yeah. Um, different things like that, just to try to help for the erosion. Hydro seeding. We've already started hydro seeding, yeah, awesome. and um, so, yeah. but it's it's all very expensive, and you know we're just. And take it a step at a time. Yeah. So, if nothing's done, uh, or, if, or if too little is done, what could happen? Uh, I think though, I think this canyon would just wash away. Yeah, one one big rain. I mean, we've had rains two and a half inches in the past. I mean, if we got something like that, I I don't see how you'd ever stop it. And they say the mud and the debris is just incredible. So, yeah. All right. But thank you so much. Just for the guys back home, can you say and spell your name and your title for me? Uh, David Ray Powell, R-A-Y-P-O-W-E-L-L, -L, uh, Commissioner of Public Lands in New Mexico. Okay. All right, I'm going to get on this side. Um, so just ignore the camera. Just Okay. Um, what are some of the... Uh, check this. What are some of the... Uh, discussions that are going on today. David, we've got uh, the important players out here. Uh, the NRCS, which looks after the water uh, shed. Uh, the University of New Mexico. We've had risk management out here, which is the insurer of the state. And we've had some construction folks that will be working with us. So we've tried to bring everybody together as quickly as we can so that we don't waste taxpayers' money. We really uh, focus it to uh, protect this highly valuable resource for our state, the apple orchard. Problem is the whole canyon six miles up has burned. So when it rains, that water and all the debris is going to flood right through this uh, floodplain where they planted the trees. The soil is rich, it's great to grow things, but you're going to have a mountain of water and debris and ash coming through here. So we're really trying to figure out what to do uh, to save this orchard but at the same time, really uh, conserve our resources because we have a lot of damage across the state from these fires. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the options? I mean, what can you do? This, this channel is so shallow, and you, you've got trees and boulders coming down here. That's the point, is that there's only so much you can do, and you could have all the money in the world and not be able to, to remedy that. So we're hoping for the right kind of rain spread out over a period of time so that it helps stabilize the soil, get the grasses growing again. Ten years from now, you probably won't know there was even a fire here unless we have a catastrophic flood event where you just have massive erosion 
and uh, Cochiti Dam is filled with all the sediment that comes from here. That's the other reason we've got to deal with this. Whatever passes through here is headed to the dam. Mm -hmm. And is that water used for, what's the, is that water used for anything? Well, Cochiti Dam is used for uh, irrigation all the way down to Socorro, and uh, it's the lifeblood of this whole region. So having six miles of sediment and ash dumped in, in that, uh, you know, water source could be catastrophic. And that's why we need help from the Forest Service and BLM and national parks and uh, our congressional delegation uh, so that we protect that watershed that feeds the whole lifeblood of the Rio Grande Valley. Mm -hmm. What's the state's role in protecting the orchard? Well, the orchard uh, in 2006 was traded with uh, the land office with UNM and, and the land office acquired this land. So it's our responsibility. And, uh, you know, uh, this orchard represents uh, something, it's a treasure for New Mexico. And many New Mexicans, you know, have experienced this beautiful place and love it. So it's, we're saving it on that level by itself, but also it's trust land, which generates revenues for our public schools. So it's that balancing act. Anything we spend here doesn't go to education. But if we don't protect this, the bill just goes through the roof, not just for us, but for the entire watershed uh, down to Socorro. Mm -hmm. How soon, uh, you've got everybody here talking today, how soon do you think uh, we'll start? Well, we need, we need check signs so that we have the money to proceed. We're ready to proceed, and the good news is I think we've got everybody's attention. Now we just need the people that, that can sign those checks to move so that the people can get on the bulldozers. And, and this is a lot of handwork. Uh, and if you love uh, Dixon Apples, uh, they're looking for people that will come out on their own and, and give us a hand under, under strict supervision. But uh, this is a treasure that belongs to the whole community. Who are some of the people that need to sign the checks? You're pretty specific. Well, it, it, uh, you know, the Forest Service needs to help us, the NRCS, our state government. Uh, we all need to pull together, and so far we are, and I, I have every confidence that we will. It's just we're going right in. They're talking about rain this weekend, and uh, so we just need to move as quickly as we can. And. Uh, you know, government sometimes is not, not the, it's, it's, it's great, it helps. Uh, we're all trying to do the best we can, but we got to move quickly. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, no, <laughs> David, uh, other, than, other than you taking the time to come out here, I appreciate it very much. Yeah. But where you've got to make it wider and not as deep, you know, just to contain some flows that are going to through there. What is it? Down there with him? Not all the way down to where he's saying. We drove up when we saw it, but, uh, you know, okay. we just pulled it the way out. Yeah, and walked down there, and then I guess Kelly argued it.